Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now, this is going to be a really fast video, mostly because it's kind of like an update video for most people. So if you guys don't know, the Empyrean Hunter bundle is already in the store. So you guys see right now, you guys will see Season 1. This is a uh, vanilla Destiny 2 armor. This is a uh, Crucible Cyrus, uh, Warmind. Then Forsaken, then we have Season of the Forge, Season of the Drifter, Season of Opulence, and then Shadow Keep. So if you guys have missed any of these, like you guys see right here, I, I missed this one. Uh, it's up for grabs. Uh, it's up to you. I'm not going to judge you if you buy it. It's your money, dude. You do whatever you want. But yeah, it's here if you want to get it. I'm probably going to get the Hunter one, mostly because I really like the cloak. But $15 for a cloak is just, oh god, it's fucking ridiculous. Uh, but, I wanted to make this video because if you want to buy something, hey, more power to you, uh, and you might have not known. So, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Are you guys going to get any of these armors? Again, no judgment. It's just, I wanted to make this video because I know a lot of people want the Empyrean Hunter bundle. That's like the one that a lot of people have been telling me about. I even got a few people telling me to make a, an update video, which is... I already had it in mind when I saw the Imperian Hunter set, but there's also the Intrepid set, which is a really good, good set if you're trying to go for a non-armor look, because this one has like almost no armor, if not, I have no armor aside from the helmet. There's uh, the Neoteric uh, Kiot Hunter bundle, which is one of my favorites uh, for the cloak specifically. I think the cloak is probably one of the best cloaks in the game, hands down. I think the helmet is great too, and then like maybe the boots uh, i think the chest piece is too bulky and the arms are too bulky as well hunter vanguard there is also a great one if you don't want to have too much armor for the legs uh for the arms there's almost no no armor aside from like these two right here the helmet's great because it reminds me of Cade. this is literally Cade's like inspired armor so you see the hunters like logos and everything it's it's really cool i love it a lot it's one of my favorite you see the hunter logo right there that's why i meant uh this one's one of my favorites. I usually use the either everything, actually. I can't even say, like, oh, I just use this. I use pretty much everything most of the time. And then the Dragonfly Regalia, I've never liked. The Kyo Hunter is pretty cool. I like the helmet a lot. Helmet's, helmet's probably my favorite part from it. But that's just that. Again, the Omega Mechanos, I want this mostly for the cloak itself i think the cloak is great and i want it but 15 dollars for just one cloak essentially is what i would be doing i i don't know man i really wish that they gave you the option to buy it with bright dust but i mean that would that would uh that would break their uh, source of money uh the optimacy hunter is cool too i would go throughout the through the other characters but i just don't want to because my hunter is the only one that has pretty much all of it and my titan and my warlock are the ones that are missing like pieces usually like a mark or um a bond like i know my my titan's missing the intrepid no no not not the intrepid it's this one i think <clears throat> let's actually go find out it's not that big a deal but there's there's a lot of cool pieces that the titans hunters and warlocks have and Let's see. You guys are going to see a lot more pieces missing. So. Okay, cool. So, again, this one, unfortunately, I got a piece and now I want to complete it. But no. This one, I'm missing the mark. I guess I'm not missing the mark for any of those. It, it's probably the Warlock then. So, Titans. The Empyrean bun Titan Bundle is probably the worst they got. The arms are atrocious. These clip on really hard and get in your way. I think the boots are okay. The helmet, I don't like anymore. The mark is cool. And then the chest piece is the one that I use the most. The Intrepid Titan set is really cool if you're trying to go for a non-armored look. Especially if you got the Season Pass armor from, what was it, last season, I think? That one was fire because now you can customize and make your character look even more non-armored. This one is also a really good one for a lot of people. I see a lot of people rocking this one. I usually just use the chest piece, the legs, and that's it really. I don't like the arms. The arms look super small, at least on women. 
And the helmet just looks really bad in my opinion and the mark, I just don't like it as well. The Starcross Titan looks really cool, I like it a lot. My only issue with it is that the it doesn't go with any other armor, so if you try to like mingle this with other armor, it just looks out of place. Dragonfly Regalia, I never, I don't like it on any character. The the Hardy Titans bundle is cool as well. The boots is really cool, and the arms are hit or miss. I've never used a chest, and I don't have the mark. And then the Optimus -E Titan bundle is probably one of my favorites as well, mostly because you could pretty much use any of these pieces on other armor, and it looks good. Like the mark is probably the coolest part of it. Aside, from actually, the helmet. It's between the helmet and the 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 mark for me. You can use the arms as well. I'm like they're really good, but yeah. Let me see. So again, Imperial Titan bundles up. Intrepid Titan or the Intrepid armor have they've been selling it like right right now they have it on. They've been selling it for a while. So if you did not get it, that's on you. But you might be in luck. They might still be selling it in the future because you know we have like an extra month I think. So if you're lucky, they might sell it again. But, I don't know. Warlock, last but not least. Let's see. I know I'm missing a bunch for my Warlock. Because I don't I don't buy the, the bonds for the Warlock. So, oh shit. Okay. So it is two. Damn, what the fuck? I thought it was more. So, the Imperium bundle for the Warlock is okay. I just don't like the fact that there's so much gold on the chest piece. Uh, I use the legs, the and the arms more than anything else. I don't like I don't like to use the helmet mostly because the gold clashes with, the, with like everything else, and the bond I do use on other things. The Imperi the Intrepid set is one of my favorites. Unfortunately, it's so hard to cut like to transmog this. But I've used the boots on another set before, the arms on this this season set, and then the helmet I'm never using. The arms I'm ne probably never going to use, and the bond I could probably use on something else. Symmetrist's Warlock bundle is really, really lackluster in my opinion. I, I've never really liked it all too much to be honest, and I missed one. This is my favorite. So, you guys ever wondered which one's my favorite Warlock armor set? It's this one, hands down. And funny enough, this is from uh, Season of the Drifter. I just like everything about it. Uh, trench coats are cool as fuck to me, so yeah, that's awesome. Dragon Regalius, Kaka. This one, I there's nothing cool about it. Uh, this was at a time when you just got it from the engrams, the Eververse engrams, so I just got it, but I never worn any piece of this because I think they all look... Actually, that's a lie. I've used the this mark before. That's it. The Omega Mechanos, I will never buy this because I just don't like it at all. This is like bad in my opinion. I don't like it at all. If I did buy it for whatever reason, it would most likely only be for maybe, maybe the helmet, maybe the helmet and the arms. And I guess I could use the boots, the chest piece. I just don't like it at all. And last but not least, I've actually used this a lot. The Rose of Optimacy is probably one of the coolest robes that the Warlocks have if you want to go for that regal look. The helmet I don't like at all. The legs are okay. And then that's pretty much it. Yeah. So, again, like I've been saying, Imperium Warlock Bundle, Imperium Hunter, and Imperium Titan armor sets are up for grabs if you want to buy them. For $15, I think. And, yeah. Go Buck Wild. I'm going to put a link in the video when I did the armor in the first time. So yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think. Are you guys going to buy it? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. Thank you everyone for the constant support and I will see you guys later.